Hello guys, and welcome to another video, and today I will be giving my first impressions on Pac-Man 99. So overall, I am really enjoying this game, and I'd have to say that in my opinion, this is my favorite 99 Battle Royale game developed by Arika, and basically, so far this is the third one, with the first two being Tetris 99 and Mario 35. Mario 35 shut down, and I guess this game was its replacement. And overall, I just have to say it's my favorite one. It's really addictive, more addictive than Tetris 99 or even Mario 35, because it's fast-paced and games don't usually take that long, and they don't take long to get into. So it's very pick up and play and it's really easy to get into a game, it's really easy to play and everything like that. So if you want a faster paced game that you want to play like a bunch of rounds or you only want to play like one round since you're busy and stuff like that, this is like the perfect game for that. And like it's really quick, it's really fun, and all the different mechanics in the game are just really fun to work with since they have the Jammer Pac-Man, which are basically the junk of this game, kind of like with um, Tetris where a bunch of uh, blocks are on your screen, or Mario 35 when the other enemies are put onto your screen. That's basically what they are, and they kind of slow you down and make it harder, and they go away whenever you get a power pellet. And they also have Sleeping Ghost from Pac-Man Championship Edition, and basically if you collect a bunch of those and get a power pellet, you can create a ghost train and get a bunch of ghosts, um, sending a lot of junk to the other players, and it's actually really fun, and it's just very addictive, and it's fast-paced and everything, and you could also have power-ups in the game too, where you could have, um, standard where it's normal, and then stronger where you could um you could like have three jammer pac-man whenever you eat a ghost and speed where it doubles your speed when you eat um pellets and then there's also the train which adds ghosts to the ghost train which is also really helpful for getting more on that train. And then there's all the target options, like from Tetris 99 and Mario 35, and it's just really fun. The mechanics work really well. I wish the UI was designed, like, slightly better, so it was easier to see the different options, but it's not really a problem once you memorize them, and it's a little hard to get into the game, I'd have to say, for the first few rounds, it's kind of confusing, especially if you haven't played Pac-Man in a while, and I mean, I know everyone has played Pac-Man, I mean, it's a game that everyone plays, but a lot of people haven't played it for a while, because, like, it's an older game, and it's only so accessible on the Nintendo Switch, you'd have to purchase it to be able to play it and everything, the original game, so... Um, if you haven't played Pac-Man in a while, you you might have to play a few rounds to get used to it again and get used to the new mechanics and everything like that, and it's just really fun. But one problem I'd have with it is that it does have DLC, and I feel like I feel like it's both a problem and kind of justified too. I really like how they handled it, like with um, the extra modes, it's not too bad. It's fourteen ninety nine. It's kind of worth it because you get a few other modes you can play offline and basically have the gameplay and everything preserved after the servers go offline. And like all of the other modes are still fun. You can like adjust the um, difficulty if you're doing like the CPU battles or the other modes and stuff like that. And then you can also have themes which. Some themes are based on older Pac-Man games like Pac-Mania and Pac-Man Arrangement, then other ones are based on other Namco games like New Rally X, Dig Dug, Galaga, Mappy, and some other ones like that, and I think that's really cool. I didn't get all of them, I did get the Dig Dug one, because I like that game, and I think that it's pretty cool, it changes Pac-Man's sprite design and also the sprite design of the ghosts. It changes the music and the um, board itself, so I think it's really cool, and I really like how that was handled. It kind of makes sense that those cost $1.99 each, because it does change a lot about the game, other than with Tetris, where it just changes the background and music and just a little bit of it. Um, but the only thing I kind of really have a problem with with this paid content is that there's a lot of it, 
which isn't really too bad. And there's also the um, mode you have to, um, or the mode to play privately with your friends and other people and stuff like that. It's kind of unfortunate that you have to pay to do that, but at least the main mode of the game that you're probably going to spend the most time in is free. And, like with Nintendo Switch Online, I feel like this is actually a really good benefit for that. And since it's probably my favorite 99 game, since I'm kind of addicted to it more than the other ones... And it's just a fun game. I really like that we're getting new Pac-Man content, since it's kind of rare nowadays that we get new Pac-Man games that are actually good. So anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. Check, make sure to check out Pac-Man 99 if you haven't already, if you have Nintendo Switch Online. And thank you guys for watching, and goodbye.